In this Cineversity quick tip, we're going to take a look at the top 10 tweaks in Cinema 4D Release 18. Many of these are so small they don't make the features list, but they make a big difference in workflow. So let's jump right in with number 10, the right alt key now works on US keyboards anyway. For those of us in the US, it's long been an annoyance that there's a key to the right of the spacebar labeled alt, just like the key on the left side of the spacebar but it has never worked in Cinema 4D. And the main reason for that is Cinema 4D is a German program, and on German keyboards, that key is labeled Alt-GR, and it does something different. Well, the Germans have worked it out, and so now those of us in the US can use that Alt key on the right-hand side of our spacebar to do all of our navigation and perform any shortcuts in Cinema 4D. Number nine, object highlighting is now off by default. A few versions ago, Maxon added object highlighting to Cinema 4D in order to make it easier to select things in the viewport. But users found it a bit too flashy and also a little bit too slow. And the user participation data showed that one of the first things they did when opening Cinema 4D is turn off that object highlighting. So Maxon decided to save everybody that step. Number eight, the figure object is no longer a giant. Many people use the figure object in order to determine the scale of their scene. And in previous versions, this figure object was 600 centimeters tall. Now, I'm no fan of the metric system, but when you do the conversion, that's taller than an NBA player on Goliath's shoulders. So in this version, the figure object measures up to a much more reasonable 180 centimeters or about six feet. Another great thing is the axis for the figure object is now at its feet. So when you add a figure object, he's standing on the floor. Imagine that. Number seven, the default angle for the extrude tool is now 91 degrees. Let's take a look at what that means. I'm going to use my right alt key to navigate up to the top of this cube. And you'll see that I've got a couple of polygons selected already. And those polygons go over a 90 degree angle. Well, in previous versions, the extrude tool had a maximum angle of 89 degrees. And this maximum angle works in conjunction with the preserve groups option. So when you extruded things that had a 90 degree angle, they would be treated as separate groups. Well, now the maximum angle is 91 degrees by default. And that means that we can extrude out across a corner now, which I think is a lot more handy. Number six, the default Fong angle is now 40 degrees. In previous versions of Cinema 4D, the default Fong angle was 80 degrees, which really just gives you an oversmoothed mess. Maxon reduced it to 40 degrees with release 18, which gives you sharp creases in the places where they make sense, but it also still smooths the edges that need smoothing. Moving right along to number five, the split tool now names the objects that it splits. So if we go in here and split these polygons that are already selected, you can see that now we have the cylinder, which is the original object, and cylinder.1, which is the split portion of the object. This makes it a lot easier to see which of the objects is the split off part. Number four, the scroll to first active object command now has a keyboard shortcut by default in the object manager. Scroll to first active object is one of the most useful commands, I think, in the object manager. And uh, I'm actually not even sure where you find it in the menus. But now you can just hit S with your mouse over the object manager, and it'll scroll right to the object that you've selected in your viewport. That makes it really easy to navigate through your object manager, especially when you have a scene with a lot of objects. Number three is 720p. I can't tell you how many times I framed up a scene just how I want it and then realized that I'm still working at a four by three aspect ratio because I never went in and changed the render output of Cinema 4D to 16 by nine, which of course defines all of your safe frames and composition helpers. Well, now the default render resolution is 720p, which works great by default means you don't have to change it as often and most importantly it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so nine times out of ten you're going to be framing your scene at the proper aspect number two is that only select visible elements is now off by default for the rectangle lasso and polygon selection tools and that just means it's going to be really easy to use these three tools to select through your objects while still using the live selection tool to 
paint your selections on only the visible elements. And the number one top tweak in Cinema 4D Release 18 is that the camera switch icons now apply only to the render view. You might be familiar with this predicament where you're in four-way view and you're manipulating one of your viewports and you go and you say, oh, I want to see that from the other camera view. And in previous versions, you would have actually changed this viewport to that camera. And from there, you would have had quite a mess as far as which viewport was associated with which camera. But as you can see now, I can manipulate in any of my views and the camera activation icons will only affect the view that is specified as the render view. So that is the top 10 best tweaks in Cinema 4D Release 18. Like I said, many of these things you won't even find on the features list, but you and I both know that they're going to make a big difference in your workflow. Keep tuning into Cineversity for more daily tips on how you can get the most out of Cinema 4D Release 18. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and visit Cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.